Things were worse than ever in Banana Republic, a somber island country. While Artemis roamed the street, corruption was running deeper due to economic crisis and rising crime rates. Bearing these burdens were judges who tried to make things right with honesty. I think that's what it said. But this is Judge Sim, everybody, where a game you can judge anyone. Well, any criminals. However you want. Okay, I accidentally hit my thing, but you can judge people. And that's what I'm doing today. I'm going to be judging people. And I might not be the best judge in the world, but let's judge people today. New game. Because I haven't... This is... I actually bought this. Hello. Whoa, I have to press this. Hey, again. Your name. You have a mail. Okay. That's my name. Dear Tespu, you were appointed as a judge. Yes, we're going as Tespu. This is, again, alternative universe where Tespu is a good guy. Banner Republic Courthouse today. Okay. Am I going to appear here? Okay, we're clearing our throats. Okay, okay. And we just entered the good old courtroom. Okay, well. Week 1, case number 1. Your Honor, first of all, as the Ministry, we wish you success in your new position. We wanted to remind you that of the details that are important for you to make our correct judgments. Thank you. You can find the evidence in the evidence file, the same time you get information whether there is a digital evidence on the tablet. The case file includes the content of these case, like the case and the information of the defendants. You can ask some questions to the defendants by clicking on microphone. These questions will play an important role in deciding your case. On the quote-unquote tablet, you can access some digital of evidence, such as camera footage or audio recordings. You can also access the recordings of your dialogue with the defendant via microphone. These recordings will be added at the end of your dialogue with the defendants. Okay, somebody had to cough? The law book contains the rules and penalties for crimes that you need to look at to make the right decision. Finally, you, finally, you will make the decision. Remember, your decisions will have consequences. Make the wrong decisions in quote-unquote law cases will, case, will cause your bars to increase. How full your bars are affects the probability of getting a 12 on the dice screen in each, after each case. Therefore, remember that the game can end even if your bars are not completely full. Okay, well, that's about it. Oh, okay, so that's it. Hello, buddy. What's your name? James Adley. Violations of restrictions. Doesn't say if he has a criminal record, just has his fingerprint number. James Adley, who was seen by the patrolling police at... at I'm gonna assume 2 a.m. after the specific restrictions times of okay yeah it's 2 a.m. Uh, 10 p.m. was taken into custody on the grounds that he did not allow the criminal procedure to be applied. Okay, well, it was around 1:50 a.m. and I wasn't feeling well. At that moment, I forgot that there were restrictions and I was just wandering around. I saw the police while they were on patrol. I remember that the, there are restrictions that I insisted on not being punished. Okay, violations of restrictions. What is this punishment here? Is this uh? No, that's six months of public service and a thousand dollar fine. I don't know what this is in real life in Canada, but this is the this is the game's uh, punishment for these. Okay, this case does not. What? Don't you think there would be evidence here? Are you kidding me? There is no like evidence at all. So probably arrest is something I have to look out for, and also a possibility of being assassinated. God, but. Yeah, this is six months. What did he say? What did he say at, uh... Wait, 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 wait. Who was seen by the parochial at 2 a.m. after the possessive restriction time of... Okay, well, what does he say here? It wasn't around and I wasn't feeling well. At that moment, I forgot that there were restrictions that I was just wandering around. I saw the police while they were on patrol and remember that there were restrictions. Then I insisted on not being punished. <sighs> oh, man, that's a tough one, bro. That's tough. I saw the police... While they were on patrol, remember that there were restrictions that I insisted. Oh boy, this is tough, bro. Why didn't you allow the police to write a fine? Because I thought I was right and they didn't give me a chance to explain. I didn't want it to come to this. In your statement, you said you didn't feel well during the night. Why didn't you call an ambulance? As I said, your honor, the first thing that came to my mind at that moment was to go out. And while I was doing it, I didn't think of the details. Okay, well, I don't know. I don't know how to judge you, bro. This is tough. I wonder how do how did the people how did how how did other YouTubers judge this guy? I'm gonna assume he was probably guilty. Uh but this is restrictions and he wasn't feeling well. I don't know man, like I don't know. It's either he's guilty or he's not. I I just want I, I'm really tempted to just give him a fine, so I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna 
say you're not guilty. Like, if you're not fine, then you're not fine, bro, okay? Okay, I'm, I'm good with that. The rest, the rest bar, I'm good too. Well, thank you. Oh, we got a family, eh? I got mental health. I have no money. This is week one. What is outside? Oh boy, we have... We have gambling here? Oh boy, that's not good. Let's just end the day, I don't got money. Daily news. Bill passed. Convicts with a criminal record will now be given increased penalties. So, anybody with a criminal record, well, you're just kind of fucked by me. If you have a criminal record, of course. Okay, what are you? Who are you? Axel Brendan. 27. He does have a criminal record. Possession slash carrying drugs. A small amount of drugs were found on the person named Axel Brandon, who was subjected to an identity check by police in the eve in, in the evening as a result of his body search. As a result of the identity scan, it was seen that the person had been tried and equated twice before on charges of possessing carrying drugs. As a result of the subsequent investigations, no evidence was found that the person named Axel was involved in drug dealing. I admit that I carry the substance, but I only use it in my own environment and when I am alone to calm my mind. I have not harmed anyone, I never will. I will not use this substance from now on. Oh boy, this is tough. Okay, so this there is actually evidence here. The results of this search for the person named Axel. Okay, so that's the C. Okay, hold on. Okay, nothing. Okay, so this is the smuggling. No, this is not that. This is uh for other stuff here. What am I doing? Wait, 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 Okay, hold on. Can I go back? I can't go back. Are you kidding me? Definitely not. Definitely not beating, malicious, wounding, home invasion, and kidnapping. Not that. Not this. Okay, it's not that either. How do I go back? Oh, this? Oh, I'm dumb. Okay. Uh, isn't this? No. Then it has to be this. Okay, so this here is ten months. Of, so if this, if he doesn't have a criminal record, he would be in for ten months of public service. And aggravated is eighteen months public service and a five thousand dollar fine. Okay, I might screw up on this one. Like I may have screwed up in the first one. I don't know. But all right, were you going to sell this stuff before you got caught in the ID check? No, Your Honor. I was just on my way home. Suddenly, I saw the police checking IDs. I wanted to change direction, but I was already on their radar. Where did you get this stuff from? I get it through a friend. I don't know from whom he gets it. Is the person you call my friend your close friend? No, Your Honor. He is someone I met at a bar called Grandpa a month ago. I don't know him personally. Hello? Oh, okay. I don't know, man. Like, he wasn't intending on selling it, so... He does admit it, but... I don't know, man. Like... He seems genuine in what he says. I'm just tempted to just make him not guilty, but at the same time, he did break a law, which is this. I don't know, bro, like, there's- this is the only evidence there is. Yeah, the, the result of the search. I don't know, dude, like, it's just- don't make sense to me. Yeah, see, he admits it, but only use it in my environment. Is it illegal to use that in this sort of country in this game? But I have to, like, I have to judge you, bro. I have to make a decision. I'm releasing you, bro, alright? Just don't do any more shit, okay? That's all I ask you to not do. Wow, okay, I got four. Raised by one. Okay, so I'm good. I'm good here, okay. Alright, uh, week two. End the day. Jason Hamstrin, no criminal record, and it's good old assassination. Shit, that's not good. During the night, Freddy Claus, CEO of Glenswick was found dead in the trunk of his car during a routine patrol by the car park security. It has been determined that the CCTV camera covering the, the area that the incident took place was not working at the time of the incidents. Well, then there's no evidence, right? The security guard, Jason Hamstred, was the, who, who was the only employee in the company at the time of this incident, became a suspect and was taken into custody by police. Oh, come on, like, you're gonna, like, there's no evidence? On the evening of the incident, only three hours had passed since I started work. While I was doing my routine alley patrol, I saw Mr. Collins' vehicle, but the open trunk of the vehicle caught my attention. When I approached the vehicle, I saw Mr. Collins' lifeless body in the trunk. What caught my attention about the body was that it had a red rose on it. Afterwards, I immediately notified the police. So, he's not guilty, eh? Oh boy, we gotta do this. What? 
Oh. Hey, well. Oh. What? Okay, well. I got that. Okay. Okay. The rope found next to the vehicle tie and used to kill Freddy Claus. A red rose was found on the body of Freddy Claus. Okay, I just want to check this here. Oh boy, so I got two cases wrong, eh? So I might be fucked. So if he, there's just no evidence at all. That's just all that it was there. Like there's no footage. So it's assassination. But the problem is, there was no, um, well, that's just, that's not that. Which one is it? Which one was it? No, that's, that's drugs. No, that's not cyber. Okay, assassination would be 62 years if, uh, but there's just no evidence here. So I, I gotta just search here. Nothing. I just want to check the, my emails. Nothing. No, nothing where I'm being fucked here. How do you think the killer entered the car part undetected without an ID card? I can't find any answer to that, your honor. The doors have never been used in the system since I started my shift. Did you have a problem with the CEO of the company, Freddy Claus? Did you know him well? Let's talk is a really big company. I know them by name. I started three months ago. I only interviewed with the recruitment department and I had no problems with him. If I'm going to be real, I wish there was footage. Like, this is the only evidence there is. That's just it. Just the rope and this. I'm finding you not guilty. There's no, there's like, just, there's just literally no evidence. I'm finding him not guilty, bro. Like, there's just no evidence at all. And this, I'm probably fucked here if I, uh, okay, good. Well, <laughs> I'm not fucked here. Okay, well, we're gonna get paid here today, eh? Alright. Okay. Alright, 600, so that's just 100 bucks. Well, let's draw that good old money. Alright, take that and, uh... Okay, what do you want? Your daughter asks you for $100. Your sanity will drop if you don't accept this? Well, I'm gonna have no money, so... There we go. Father or daughter, accept your daughter's request. Well, I'm a good dad there. Good job, Tespi. My mental health is still the same. I have zero bucks, so... We gotta go back. We got week number two. Oh boy, we got two people here, eh? Okay. Auto theft. And the other guy? Auto theft too, I think. So Bob has a criminal record and Connell does not, but Bob does. Okay, so it's auto theft. The vehicle was stolen while parked in a parking lot opposite the neighborhood where Lameham Diaz lives. Following the denunciation on the morning of the night, the vehicle was thought to have been stolen. The license plate was traced. The vehicle was turned over the same morning, and as a result of the searches, a package containing Sigur Sisters, not scissors, scissors, was found in the vehicle. Apart from this, no additional findings were found. As a result of the identity check, the person inside the vehicle was determined to be Bob Isaac Groove, nicknamed Big Big, known as a former car thief. Well, he has a criminal record, so it'd be aggravated. We went to our summer house in County Village with my car for two days as a family over the weekend. At the end of the second day, I think I forgot to lock my car because I was tired from the road. There was a possibility that the person who stole it also took advantage of this. Okay, Bob has a statement. On the morning of the day, the car was thought to have been stolen. A longtime friend of mine, Connell Green, called me and said he had urgent business. He asked me to take his package to a place called Party Time. I thought it was urgent, so I quickly, I quickly to, so I went quickly to Connell Green's house. Connell gave me a car key and a piece of paper and the address of the place where I was take, where I was to take the package. Okay, so I drove off with the car. Soon I got pulled over and found out the car was stolen. Upon this statement, Connell Green was found at his home and brought to the police station for questioning. I do not accept any of the calculations. I don't know anything. I don't know, dude. That's a bit sus suspect. We do have this here. Oh boy. Well. We should definitely do this, right? Well, this this would be this. Um. Okay. Okay. Well. Yay! We got it. Okay. Cigarette scissors and box found in the vehicle. For okay, from the evidence, this there. Okay, there is a digital evidence. Okay. No, 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 no. Let's go to the emails. No emails. There is digital evidence. Okay, CCTV footage of the incident. No facial. Okay, well, I don't know, bro. That's there's just no facial. I don't know, bro. So it seems I got one of them right. 
the previous one, I think I got it right. So I'm likely to get assassinated here. This is the only evidence. So, who was, uh... Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Oh, wait, no, that's, um... This is, uh, him. Okay, so he has no criminal record. Bob does. So, let's just ask. Where were the night... Where, where were you the night the car was stolen? That night, I was sitting at a place called Pepsi's with my girlfriend. Before I was too late at night, I dropped her off at her house and went to my home. I fell asleep shortly after. In the morning, I woke up to Connell's call. When was your last conversation with Connell Green? It had to been almost six months since we last spoke to Connell, and I was very surprised that he called after all this time. Also, it's been a long time since I left these jobs. I am now in a regular life and a regular relationship. I am not guilty. When did you meet with Bob Isaac Groove? I have known Bob for over 20 years, and he is a dear friend. Mr. Groove says you gave him a stolen vehicle, delivered a package, and asked him to take it wherever he wanted. Is this true? This has nothing to do with me. The last time I met with Bob was six months ago. Bob has sla slaughtered me. Oh boy. This is tough. Like, the evidence is here, right? Um, the fingerprint from the evidence is right here. So, there's also a digital evidence, but yet at the same time, there is literally no facial recognition whatsoever. I feel like. I feel like Connell Glean is guilty. Um, but. This one here is, um. This one is, um, where is the stealing crime? Oh, is it theft? Or, what? Well, yeah, this is auto theft. Two years in jail if it's, if you don't have a criminal, but if you do, if Bob, I don't think Bob is guilty, but he's still uh, a part of it. Four years jail and $2,000 fine. Well, um, one of you is guilty. Like, Bob, um, has a longer statement, but yet, Connell Glean. I might get this wrong. Again, I might suck here, but I think Glean's guilty here. On all that, he's absolutely guilty here, bro. There's just no way you can't, like, convince me otherwise. What was the crime again? What was the crime again for these two here? I want to look back. All of that. Okay, so Glean does not have one. So, Connell Glean, you're guilty, brother. You are going two years in motherfucking jail. And you... I don't know, dude. Like... He is guilty, and, uh, I think I probably, um, I don't know, dude, let's, I might have to send him for four years, but, hold on, God, but he's guilty, absolutely guilty, I don't know, I feel like Bob was set up, but, I kind of have to make a decision on you, bro, <laughs> oh, man, I feel like you should spend time behind bars, but, Man, I don't know. I, I, I'm tempted to just send you to public service, but I might have to send you to four. I'm going to have to. I have to do this. Sorry, brother. But you you were a part of that. So I'm likely fucked here. Got to watch out for that. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. I probably may have screwed up, but whatever. Oh, I'm good there. Thankfully. Nothing nasty. Okay, we going to go. Breaking news, state of emergency declared. Due to a recent increase of artist activity, the government has declared a state of emergency. What else is there? Nothing else? Okay, I guess we'll, uh, we'll go. Daily news, state of emergency declared. Due to state of emergency, judges can now be appointed to all types of cases, so I'm gonna be a part of everything, eh? Alright, let's go to week number two. Oh boy, what is this here? They said, okay, case subject, the case situation, who will take the custody case? So, this is a divorce of 12 year old Ezekiel Robin and his sister, 9 year old Clara Robin. Defendant, Ben Robin, plaintiff, Diaz Robin. Okay, Ben Robbins and Diaz Robbins recently divorced. A custody case was filed by Diaz Robin, the mother of the children, for the custody of their children, Ezekiel Robin and Clara Robin. As a result of divorce, the mother has a certain amount of anatomy that she demands from the father. Oh boy, thank god I never went to- I had to go through this in my life. So the mom wants the children, so oh boy. I just hope I don't fuck up here. Are you sad that your parents are divorced? No, I'm not, because my parents didn't get along very well and they argued all the time. My sister and I were very uncomfortable and I couldn't stand crime for- I couldn't stand the crime of my sister anymore. So do you want to live with your mom or you with your dad? What is important to me is my sister. I certainly don't want to leave her, but the best thing for her would be to live with my mother. Who would you prefer? My mother is more important to me. I think being with my mother will be better for me and my mother. Of course, my, with my sister. Are you sad that your parents are divorced? 
Yes, very much. Even though they fight, I love them both very much, and I can't live without even one of them. Do you love your mom more, more or your dad? I love them both very much. I never wanted my parents to get divorced. That's why I feel so sad. Man, very relatable. My parents almost divorced. That's like a fucked up situation, dude. Like your parents divorced. It. My parents obviously didn't, but if you had parents divorced, that's just a fucked up situation. Like your mental health will take a toll. If you had to choose, who would you choose? Your mom or your dad? I don't want to choose one or the other. My only wish right now is that my brother doesn't leave me. He always supports me. Please don't separate my brother and me. Well, your brother wants to live with your mom. So you're likely to be with your mother. Oh boy. Thank God I, my parents didn't have to go through this. Like this happened in high school. Like my first year in high school before COVID. Like thank God this, that didn't happen. Like I really relate to Clara, Robin. But I'm gonna have to uh, give custody both to both children. Give custody of both to the father. Get the son to the father and then the daughter to the mother. Nah, we gotta follow what the son said. Giving custody to both to the mother. We gotta, we gotta do this. But I hope I don't get assassinated here. Okay, well, I made the right decision. Did I? Wow, that's at five. Damn, that's tough. James Redlow. He has a criminal record. And his uh, charges is assassination. In the morning, a person named Amanda Sylvia, who was jogging in a forehead area near the highway, came across the lifeless body of a person named Francis Crims while jogging. It has been determined that the CCTV camera covering the area where the incident took place was not working at the time. They... Why did these CCTV never fucking work? Why don't they not work? According to the autopsy report, it was understood that he died as a result of prolonged asphyxia, so a suffocation, without any signs of impact on his body. According to the allegations, the last person the deceased was in contact with was James Redlow, a member of the board of directors of Karen and Wells. Oh boy. That night, we left the company together, we went to the bar called Lewis dropped with this with his vehicle after staying there for about one hour. He dropped me off at my home. I don't know what he did after or where he went. Francis and I were good friends. While sitting at the bar, I saw him trouble, but no matter how much I insisted, he did not say anything. He just said that there was something wrong in his life these days, and no matter what he did, he couldn't change things. That's all I could say. I'm so sorry for the loss of my close friend. That morning, like every day, I, ha I headed to the area in the forest that I always preferred to run. While I was taking a break to drink water, I saw a body lying flat behind the bushes. I immediately informed the police. All I remember is that the person laying on the floor was wearing a suit and had a red rose on him. Man, like, I wish there was, like, something to, like... I wish the CCTV was fucking working, but it obviously clearly didn't. He does have a criminal record, though, so that makes me suspect that he possibly may have done it. But we have this here, so that's gonna be tough for me. Okay, well... Well... This might be fucking shit here, but... What can I do, right? You might as well. No! Fucking idiot. Oh wait, I think it shows here. Okay, so... We put this, uh... Here? This goes... This goes here. Oh boy, this is gonna be tough here. Okay, this probably goes to the top. Um... This probably... This probably goes here. Um... This goes here. That goes there. Shit. Well, it's done. <laughs> Whatever. 0% assassination, but a 30%. Oh boy, I'm kind of fucked here. There's just no evidence, so... How long is your friendship with Francis? We have been working in the same company for about 4 years, but we have a close friendship for the last 2 years. Was there anyone in the company who did not like Francis Crims or had threatened him recently? No, as far as I know, there was no such person. In fact, he was the CEO of our company and he was well liked by every member of our board team. Did you often go to the bar in question with him? Yes, we used to get at least twice a week and vent to each other. Well, I fucked up the uh, thing here, so um, there's just no again, again, bro, again. The CCTV doesn't work. I wish there was evidence here. He's not guilty. I made my quick decision. I wish there was evidence. As a result of the decision you made in the cases, we just raise your salary. Salary. This week, will you earn seven hundred thousand? $700, fuck. Okay, well, that was pretty high, I won't lie. Wow, I was almost, I'm mean, close to 50%. Enter password, well, we gotta do it now, right? Alright, so we got 200 bucks. I might have to go to the casino, bro, because this ain't a lot, bro. So I might as well do it, right? I'm gonna go there, bro. I don't have a choice. As much as I hate doing this, bro, I gotta. Thankfully, this is just the game, so I'm not gonna show any of you this. So you just got 400 good old 400 bucks there. We go into the case now. Week number three. We are now here. 
What do we got here, eh? Okay, well, Elden Duncan has a criminal record. He is 30 years old. And uh, this is threat, malicious woundings. So two crimes. He has, so Arthur has no. Okay. All right. The incident occurred in the evening at the home of Eldon Duncan. The person named Arthur Durrell who caused the injury fled immediately after the incident. An arrest warrant has been issued for Arthur Durrell as a result of the report of the person named Eldon Duncan. In the search initiated by the police as a result of the tip-off, it was determined that Arthur Durrell was hiding in his sister's house and was captured by the police in the evening and brought to the police station for questioning. A month ago, I borrowed some money from Arthur Durrell. He kept calling me and telling me that my debt was doubled and increasing day by day. I told him many times that I had not yet re received payment from my workplace and that I would pay my debt when I received it. Despite this, he never stopped calling and harassing me and after a while, he started following me home. Although I reported this situation to the police many times, I did not receive a positive response. As I finally left my workplace and arrived at my house, I saw Arthur Durrell behind me. I noticed that he was holding a knife in his hand. Well, that, that, should, that should prove his guiltiness, eh? He pointed the gun at me and asked me to be quiet and go to my apartment with him. I couldn't react because I was afraid. Then we went to my apartment. After entering the house, he started rummaging through my house and looking for money. Oh boy, that ain't good. When he couldn't find any money, he stabbed me in the leg. Then he quickly fled the apartment. Then I took my cell phone and asked for help from the police. Okay, so this is, that's Duncan's response. Now, Arthur Durrell. About a month ago, Eldon Duncan called me and told me that he needed some money. Although I was in a difficult situation myself, I gave him the money he asked for and explained the situation to him. He said he would pay me the money as soon as possible. Since he did not respond after a month, I couldn't stand it and called him and told him that he had to pay his debt. He told me that he would pay the debt if I came to his house on the date and time he said. When I went to his house, he told me that the money was in his apartment and that we should go up to the apartment. When we got home, he asked me to sit down and said he would come back soon. Then he stood in front of me with a knife and started making th threats to me. Oh boy, like this is this is just screwed. I told him that he had to pay his debt no matter what. Then he swung the knife towards me. At that moment, I made a move to defend myself and the knife was stuck in Eldon's leg. Afterwards, I took the knife and ran to my sister's house because I was afraid. So this is a complex situation here. That's the best way to describe it, bro. Complex. Please give me something. Oh boy. Okay. Well. Well. Okay. No. Nope. Nope. Okay. Well. Shit. Okay. This. That. No. 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 Yes. 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 No. Okay. Knife found on the person. Okay, so... 2, 1, 2. Okay, friend of found from the evidence. Okay, so who is the guilty verdict here? Well, he says that this is self-defense. Oh boy, dude. What the fuck? Just gonna check emails first. Okay. I, I didn't mean to check that. No email, so I'm good. <laughs> I didn't get fucked here. How do you know a man named Arthur? How do you know a man named Arthur Durrell? Last year, he was someone I met through a social media and we met and became friends. In which hand was Arthur Durrell holding the knife when he stabbed you? He was holding the knife in his left hand and when he stabbed me with his left hand. I'm sure of it. How many times a week did Arthur Durrell call you? He was calling and harassing me every day of the week. Did you call and harass Eldon between the day you, you lent him money and the day of the incident? No, I didn't, your honor. Well, which hand did the person named Eldon point the knife at you? If I remember correctly, he pointed the knife at me with his right hand. Wow, very co again, complex as hell. It says it was at the home of Eldon Duncan. The person named Arthur Durrell who caused the injury fell fled immediately, so... Oh boy. That's complex. This is threats and malicious wounding. Which... Not that, obviously, what the fuck? Which, if anything, is physical. Yeah, so... This is malicious wounding. And what was it again? Threats. Okay. I'm surprised you actually go to, to jail for sending threats in this, but... Whatever, dude. Um, Someone here is guilty. But this is the knife, obviously. I don't know, dude. Like, all the evidence is just the knife, and that's really it, bro. 
I just want to check the uh, so I'm not gonna get assassinated but my probability for of arrest is pretty high at 30% I know it's not that high but it's almost at 50 which is not good I'm also looking at the criminal record I feel like this is important too I think Arthur Zero was defending himself like this was self-defense but if he if Arthur says that he wasn't um, paying him back then I think Arthur is guilty for threats and um and I think this too is like attempted too. So this is physical. So this would be um, four years of jail for him. Because he already has a criminal record. Wait. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. What was the crime again? So yeah, threat. Okay, yeah, threat. So. Oh wait, no, 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 that's the wrong one. Okay, hold on, hold on. I think Duncan is going to four years here. Yeah, he's going to four years. So, Duncan. You're guilty, brother. Next time, pay your fucking debt. You're going to four years in jail, bro. You don't make threats like that. And I'm gonna let you go. That was self-defense right there. You're not guilty. You're not guilty. You're free to go. That was self-defense in my opinion, but I might have fucked up there. <laughs> Six. Imagine it was like close to that. Oh, I'm good too. That. Daily news, bill passed, criminals who are not mentally well will be sent for treatment instead of punishment. So those that are not mentally stable. Yeah, I think, yeah, I really think if people are not really stable, they should definitely... Are you stable? Yes, you are. You have no criminal record, but your charges is willful damage to public property. The incident was covered by citizens using the benefit belonging to Trenther... M I don't know how to press it, as an investigation was launched following complaints. The CCTV footage was examined in detail and the person involved was identified as Hort Roast. <laughs> what a last name. As a resolution, as a solution, a new bench was placed in front of the Trent Ward Town Hall as they started to wait. Hort Roast sat down on a bench at noon and took a sharp object out of his pocket. He was detained by the police officers at the same time. Okay, uh, don't you think that's a bit of a privacy invasion there or something? I don't know. First of all, I didn't know it was a crime to do this. The reason I did it is that I unintentionally picked up a bad habit and it turned into an addiction. I can't control it anymore. But as I said, I didn't know it was a crime to do it. What was the crime behind? With full damage to public property. I don't even think he even did public um, property here. So what is this here? Okay, so this is 12 months of public service. Okay, let's just do this here. Okay, so the evidence... The bench is damaged by the defendant. Sharp objects were found on him. Oh boy, that's not a good look for you, bro. That ain't a good look for you. That does look damaged. So, yeah. Let's assume you didn't know that what you did was a crime. Did you also not know that it is the citizens who used those benches and seats? Of course I do, you know, but I wasn't thinking about that part of it when I did it. Should have thought about it, brother. Do you regret doing this? I absolutely regret it, and I promise to do my best for public peace from now on. Well, I gotta do my job, bro. This is a crime. This is a crime. You're going to 12 months of public service. You're guilty. You'll be fine in this public ser in this public service. 12 months. You'll be fine though. This is what I have to worry about here. Wow. Lucky as shit there. Trunks, a music production company claims that the wall and music production company is using the structure of a track that belongs to them and violating their copyrights. Defendant, the wall music production company and the plaintiff, Trunks music production company. There is one digital evidence for this case. Okay, so we got music here. Aye, aye. Aye. All right. So Trunks music company has released a new track in recent weeks. Three days after the track was released, the music company, the wall released a track of its own. In response to the music company, Trent argued that its all copyrights have been infringed and that it should be paid 10 million in damages, citing the track's infrastructure as evidence. Okay, so the lawyer of the Trent's music. Okay, we spent a lot of time working on the track and we were very happy that we have finally finished it. But a few days later, we realized that the track released by the music company The Wall used the exact same infrastructure that we used. Our problem here is that not is not that they did this but that they did it without permission. We decided to file a lawsuit for compensation, which we hope to get. We request that the appropriate action be taken. Okay. Okay, the lawyers at the wall. The track was created with a completely original infrastructure and the long efforts of our sound engineers. This kind of accusation is unacceptable. We don't think there is a copyright infringement just because the infrastructure is similar. We are sure that in the tracks we released before them, 
They also have tracks that are similar to our infrastructure. We did not want to be victimized by this situation, and we request that necessary action be taken. Well, digital ovens? Okay. Sorry, we're getting distracted there. They don't sound the same to me. This one's just an up tempo. This is slower, but it don't sound the same to me. I'm sorry. Maybe I'm getting this copyright infringement wrong, but I'm sorry, bro. What the fuck? Whoa, 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 can I not? I can't. So that's it. Okay. I guess that's uh, that's what it is. No. Not guilty. They don't sound the fucking same, dumb shit. 800 bucks. I actually lost money gambling, so that's gonna suck for me. Yes, I did gamble off camera because I sure as hell am not going to um, fucking... I'm not going to fucking, you know... I'm not going to show it to you guys. Why should I? Okay, um, I need to get... <laughs> I had to somehow get 400 bucks back. Okay, $300? Oh, I actually got money now, which is good for me. Okay, let me go outside f fast. Ha! <laughs> I lost all my money. Yeah, I'm gonna be. What is this? You're bankrupt. And your family abandoned you. Huh. Okay, well, that's tough for me. <laughs> if I keep doing this, I'm gonna I'm gonna get the same shit. Come on. I should I probably should have applied for credits. Ah oh, well. I'm gonna actually do all this again. I'm doing this all again. I may have caught up now after I lost so much money. Well I I got lucky there, I, I didn't even touch the gambling part. I don't think it's a good idea, I think I might have to avoid doing that. But let's continue. I don't think I can't really caught up, but... Oh, never mind, we didn't actually fully caught up. Okay, well, this one here, I didn't really rule it as guilty, so... Let's just do that shit again, bro, let's do this. Once again, not paying that shit. I just have 200 bucks here, so, um... Let's, uh... We should withdraw the money. And, uh... Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. What do you want, son? 300 bucks? Yeah! Of course, hell yeah! 200 bucks? We fully caught up now. We're doing the... Without gambling, uh... Challenge here. What do we got here? Another lawsuit? Joel Muller alleged that his 15-year-old daughter, Ellie Muller, had played the game Last of Me 2. Oh boy. And, uh... Oh boy, please don't, um... Don't blame the game for this, man. In addition to the plans on Joel Muller requests that the game be removed from sale. It's representing. After playing this game, my daughter shut herself in her room. She never spoke to us. She hardly ate or slept. She was exhibiting behavior she would never more normally do. So we took her to the hospital and she was diagnosed with major depression. But two weeks later, her mother came home from work and found her unconscious on her bed, having a box of antidepressants. We, we, when we took her, it was already too late. Our company never accepts such smear campaigns. Before the release of our game, we've stated that legal is 18, you see? Alright, well, I think this is pretty obvious that I'm not compensating them whatsoever. Mrs. Muller, your daughter does not meet the legal age limit for the game. Do you think you are at fault for this matter? Your Honor, my daughter borrowed the first game of the series from her friends and played it. When the second game came out, she practically begged me to buy it. As a father, I couldn't break my daughter's heart. The game must be removed so that others don't have to go through what I went through. Sorry, man, but that's the friend's fault. I don't know, dude. Like, come on, stop. What's your defense on the matter? Your Honor, a game has sold a lot of copies around the world, and we've never had an incident like this before. The reason why this happened is because the family at the unconsciously. Moreover, there is no evidence that it has. It was our game that caused her daughter's illnesses. We think they are using us to cover up their family problems. 
Yeah, I feel like... Yeah, man, I'm sorry, dude. I feel like they're evil people. Um, but... I'm not compensating them. The rejection, claim, yeah. No compensation and removal, no. I'm sorry, but... Come on, don't blame the game for your problems. Don't do it, bro. Just don't fucking do it. Just don't fucking do it, bro. Wow, okay, I'm, I'm completely fine here. Alright, no gambling. Alright, let's just keep going. Big operations to Cardell. Members of the Corset were caught smuggling drugs across the border. Oh boy, so this is me, huh? Yep, it is me. It is good old me. Okay, you guys. <laughs> one of you look like criminals, one of you don't. Okay, drug trafficking taking part in organized criminal activities. Okay, Jeremy Alder does have a criminal record. He is uh, mentally stable. They both have criminal records. Okay, well. Okay. The pickup truck in which Jeremy Elder and Mike Burr were traveling was stopped during a police stop. As well, the series of searches, a large number of drugs and weapons were seized from the vehicle and used by Jeremy Alder and Mike Byrne. As well, the identity and check investigation, it was understood that Jeremy Alder were members of the Cadalia Cardinals. Well, we gotta check this out. Okay, well, <laughs> I guess we got the same one as before, but their answer is right here, by the way. Oh, C is the operation. Eight kilograms of this, nine liters of this, and two submachine guns. I'm gonna let GTA 5, eh? Okay, well, what is this crime here? Or, yeah, what, what, what is this crime here? Drug trafficking, taking part in. Okay, so. So it looks like we got s smuggling. Oh, wait, no. What is this? Is this. No. What is this, bro? No. Okay, well. Uh. Organized crimes. Okay, so they both would be in for 24 years because they both have criminal records. What was the other crime? Trafficking. Hold on. What is this crime here? Is it theft? No, it ain't theft. And it obviously wouldn't be uh that. Not that either. Um, is it financial crimes? No. Organized? Well, I already know that's 24 years for both of them, since they're both guilty. If they are. Alright. I haven't found the, the sentence yet, but... Alright, if you cooperate and reveal all the card members, I'll do my best to get you the minimum sentence. Will you cooperate? No, I don't think so. Well, Jeremy Alder, you're guilty. Okay. <laughs> you're guilty, brother. You say the Mafia double-crossed you, but you, do you have proof of their involvement? No, I don't have any any that's to offer at that moment, but soon our cartel will sort it out. If you expose the names of the Mafia members, will you think, who you think double-crossed you in court right after you? You can be sure that I will punish them too. Are we going to help each other with this? We don't trust your judgment or your help. We don't need anyone. Our cartel will sort this out. Well, you both are clearly guilty as shit. That's drug tra trafficking, but it ain't here. It's not in uh, possession at all. So... Wouldn't you think it's somewhere, uh, here? Like, it ain't here, it ain't... Sexual assault. Oh, okay, so it's here. So that's 24 years for both of them, and a 750,000 fine, and, um... What was the other crime again? So that's 48 years for both of them. Okay, so this is criminal activities. Yeah. So taking part- yeah. Both of you are just done. You're both fucking done, bro. Both of you, done. 48 years and a $750,000 fine for ya. Okay, I just want to make sure. Three, okay, yep. Guilty. And you two are guilty as shit. Guilty as shit. You're both guilty there. I might be wrong there, but you're both guilty to me. Oh boy. Lucky I didn't die. And I didn't get arrested either. Which is good. Fraud. Recently, Dennis and Yadik wanted to have sexual intercourse with Sophia, whom he thought was a prostitute, in exchange for money. In the telephone conversations, Sophia Bonsa requested a certain amount of money and asked Dennis to deposit it into her account. Dennis had did not receive any return after depositing the money. Afterwards, he reported the situation to the police and filed a complaint against Sophia Bonsa. Soon after, Sophia Bonsa was arrested and detained at her resident address. I broke up with my girlfriend about two and a half years ago, and during that time, I had no sexual intercourse with anyone. This affected me physicality and I thought that for my health I could have, have have a relationship with a prostitute I found on an app on the internet no criminal record obviously I called the number provided 
I was then sent a bank account and I deposited the $200 mentioned on the phone into the bank account and she sent me and sent her the receipt. Then I received them that they had blocked my phone number. I tried to reach out for quite a while, but I couldn't. The amount I paid is not very important, but I can't bear that these people are fooling others. That's why I decided to start to commence an action. First of all, I'm not a prostitute. I've never been. My phone rang recently. A stranger asked me how much my fee was. At first, I didn't understand, but then I thinking about I was being made fun of. I told him that my hour cost $200. He asked how he could make the payment. I sent him my bank account, and then I realized that I had $200 in my account. When I realized it was a serious misunderstanding, I blocked the number. Inexplicitly, I realized that my phone number was circulating on the internet. Sexually ex explicit sites. I recently changed my number. Oh boy, man, that's not good. So this is fraud. So we gotta do this here. So the evidence is Dean Khan, $200 from Dennis to Sophia. The receipt for the money sent by Dennis. So what would fraud be? Because I'm pretty sure it would be uh, financial. Not any of these, eh? Nope. So fraud would be four years in jail and aggravated by 10. Why didn't you tell the person who called your phone that you were not a prostitute? Like I said, at the beginning I thought he was making fun of me. After you realized it was so serious, why didn't you send the money back? I tried to send it through the account number on the receipt I was sent and it didn't work. I thought I would send it somehow later and forgot about it. Ah oh, man, I kind of have to send you there, but at the same time... I mean, this is proof, and um, it is fraud, but you forgot about it. I feel like, I don't know, dude, like, uh, I don't know, bro, I don't know. I broke up with my girlfriend, I just pulled the $200 mentioned on the account, and she sent me and sent her the receipts. And, um, and I realized that they bought my phone number, I tried to reach out, I think you're guilty, brother. I don't know, but... Uh, it's either you're guilty, not guilty. You're you're mentally stable, right? You're mentally stable? Yes, mentally stable. It's either you're guilty or you're not guilty. Because if you're guilty, you're going to four years. I feel like this is his fault. I feel like this is Dennis's fault. Um, but I'm gonna make Sophia not guilty. I think Dennis is the fault here. Like, why would you send the money there? I don't get it, but I might be stupid as shit. I don't fucking know, bro. I'm making her not guilty. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I'm lucky as hell. Both of them I'm lucky as hell, bro. Alright, how much money am I gonna get here? Because I know I'm gonna lose a ton here for bills and shit. Yeah, house rent, 400 bucks. Shop, 120, 80. Okay, well, let's draw the money. Because I desperately need that shit. Thank you very much. Nobody wants anything, 700 bucks. No gambling. I'm out of here. Week number five. Okay, we got who we got here. Augman LM. So charges of human trafficking. He had he has no criminal record and he is um mentally stable. Later now, while the police were inspecting at the border of the city of Koras, a person named Ahmed El Amin did not comply with the stop warning and tried to bypass. Police officers pursued the vehicle driving by Ahmed El Amin, who fell who fled from a police stop. As a result of a long chase, the person who entered a gas station, got out of the vehicle and tried to escape on foot, was caught and detained by the police after a while. A large number of foreign nationals were detected in the vehicle. Okay. I am aware that it's dangerous and forbidden for me to do this work, but I was unemployed and penalties for a very long time, so I had to do it. The work and the process was very difficult for me and I was so nervous that I, when I saw the police officers, I panicked and tried to run away. It was all to show my family that I could earn some money. I'm aware of my guilt, I accept it, and I am very sorry. Well, at least you admit it. This is what? What crime is this? Human trafficking. I don't know if I should be saying that, but I have to say it. Okay, it's definitely not that, isn't it? No. So this is human trafficking, so he has no credit. That would be eight, eight years in jail. Um, There is digital in this case. But first, let's check the good old emails. Nothing, so I have been doing pretty well, right? Right? Okay, there is digital evidence though. What am I doing? Digital evidence is right here. Traffic footage of, okay, yep, of Ill carrying illegal migrants. Okay, well, I'm sorry, buddy, but I think you're pretty clear as guilty here. Did your family know about your actions and job due to financial constraints and embarrassment? No, your honor. I have been doing this for a long time. I need money urgently and I wanted to do this because it's a fast money business. Why didn't you want to, to or couldn't get a regular job? I tried, but the conditions of the jobs were, were very difficult and employers usually did not hire me because I was inexperienced. So I felt I had to prove myself to my family. 
and who offered you this job? After hearing from a friend about the opportunity for quick earnings, I independently researched and began transporting migraines by car. Yeah, man, I'm sorry you just admitted to your guilt. That is eight years in jail. I know that family is likely fucked after this, but I'm sorry, bro. That is still taking that, so I'm sorry, bro. I gotta follow suit with this here. Wow, I am lucky as shit for that. And I'm also lucky here. Thank God. In a dark of the night, your sleep is interrupted by the sound of knocking on the door. What we got here? What the fuck? Look through the, the hole. What the fuck? No! Fuck you! I'm calling the stupid police. Yeah, get that stupid bitch. Week 5, case 2. Lupo Company and Brooklyn Troys. Okay, oh wait, what am I doing here? Okay, damage also filed by Brooklyn Troys against the militation owned company that develops and sells Lupo customer consumer electronics. Defendant Lupo Company, plaintiff Brooklyn Troys. Burnt battery of Lupo brand phone that belongs to plaintiff. Okay, that's the phone. That's the uh, that's the phone destroyed. Recently, a person named Brooklyn Troys purchased a mobile phone from the dealer of the Lupo Company. He claimed that he claimed that during the period of use, his phone was not charged with an adapter other than its own charger. While using the phone while it was charging, the battery inside it exploded and caused physical damage around the right hand and face of Broken Shores. I didn't see damage on his face, but maybe, maybe uh, he got maybe healed. I don't know, but the phone is damaged. We can all see it. Broken Shores, who reported the situation to the Loophole Company Authority Service, did not receive the response he expected and filed a lawsuit for compensation of five hundred thousand dollars. Exactly 2 months and 13 days ago, I went to the Lupo Comp dealer near my house to buy a phone. I bought a model I liked and started using the phone. During this time, while using the phone, I never charged it with anything other than the charger that came in the box. While I was charging the phone, its battery suddenly exploded and in addition to the damage to my hand, parts of the phone also hit my face. Afterwards, I called the Lupo Authority Service and explained the situation and expected at least an apology, but it was not what I expected. They told me that this was a user error and hung up the phone on me, so I filed a lawsuit to demand my rights. Okay, so this is somebody representing them. We definitely do not hold ourselves as responsible for the incident. Our products have been subjected to t dozens of tests, and our engineers have reported that it is not possible to give such a reaction when charged with a current adapter or a more powerful adapter. We believe this incident occurred as a result of a transaction that the consumer did not report and is an action designed to tarnish our brand. I feel like people say this all the time tarnish our brand. I gotta stop at that, bro. Come on. If you're clearly guilty, then you gotta be clear here. Or just come out clean, but... Okay. Alright, phone evidence. Phone conversation between Brooklyn Troyes and the customer advisor of Lupo Authorized Service. I'm Tiffany. Can I ask for your name so I can help you better? My name is Brooklyn Troyes. The phone I bought from your dealer about two and a half months ago exploded in my hand. Can you explain how this happens? I'm oh, sorry, did you say the battery explode? Yes, even though I only use the adapter and charge the table, that came in the box. That's not possible, Mr. Broken. I think it's your fault. It cannot be from us. Is there anything, anything else I can help you with? What do you mean? It's not possible. It happened. Am I a lie? Unfortunately, I can't help you. Have a nice day. Uh, okay, so they said battery explode. Okay. So they definitely know. So I think they're guilty. It's kind of fucked here. Any digital evidence? No. Emails? Why am I looking here? Uh, emails. Nothing. Okay. So am I good or nah? Okay. Local company has stated that you are responsible for the incident. What do you think? I cannot agree with them on this. I explained to them in detail how the incident happened and went through. And when I went through, they didn't even take my explanation into consideration. Broken Troy stated in his statement that you did not take him into consideration. Do you think this is the case? No, Your Honor. We are a repeatable company with high customer satisfaction. We just didn't think his statements were true because we put our products through dozens of tests. We said that such an incident could only be due to customer error. Well, the damage is not there, so it might have healed, but. It is pretty clear that the phone is damaged, so I don't know about you guys. Um, okay, it was the sound and no payment was made. The phone's damaged, so this is not an option. Broken and Troy was found right, and the money for the phone was returned. Broken and Troy was found right, and the compensation of five hundred thousand dollars was paid by Lupo Company. <sighs> I mean, it's pretty clear, like the phone's broken, so I feel like they probably did not test it enough. Yeah. I know I might get a hitman on me and shit, but I just gotta do what I had to do. Wow, I'm surprised. I'm not even getting arrested either, shit. I'm lucky as hell.
veterans were named Jeremy Elder and Mike Byrne. Oh, these are people that I did? Were found dead in their prison rooms. It's important that the security camera of the four where the take took place were not. Again, like, come on. Then it's pretty clear Brad Cole ain't fucking guilty. But I think we did Jeremy Alder and Mike Byrne already. The person named Brad Cole, who stayed in the same room with the victims, was brought to the police to take his statement. Yep. I only spent two days with them. I didn't have any problems or fights. Like me, they spoke very little. Why would I want to kill them? If I were to do this, I wouldn't be in a cell where there is a room making me a suspect. I have paid and am paying the penalty for my crimes. I am not guilty in this in, 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 in this incident. The reason I am here is theft. I've never killed anyone in my life. The night they died, I slept before them. Even though I had heard a few voices during the night, I thought they were delicious as usual. So, that's that. Emails. It was time to remind such big companies about the existence of consumers. You are a, you are a folk hero. Thank you, brother. I'm glad you uh, I'm glad you you agreed. I guess. Okay, this. We doing this shit again? All right then. Two roses found on the bodies. Two st the strangulation rope found on the bodies confirmed to be a murder weapon. There's just no evidence. Like there's no like digital evidence. There's no video. Like I wish there was something to be seen. But let's just question him. I reviewed your statement. Although it makes sense, you are the only eyewitness in the scene. How can you explain this? This is one of the prisons where prisoners are killed the most, and it is often unknown who did it. Don't you think it's possible that the guards had a hand in this? You said you heard voices that night. Why didn't you get up and look? The first night, I couldn't sleep until the morning because of their delirums. I woke up and looked at them every time. They were delirious, but they seemed very calm. No sleep has been disturbed for the last two nights. I thought it was one of those nights they were talking about as usual, and I didn't feel the need to wake up and look. Makes sense, I guess. I mean... Um, but... I wish there was evidence to, uh... To, yeah, a video, like a digital evidence to, um... Sh to support this case, but... Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Why did I do that? Hold on, hold on. He's a criminal. He has... Yeah, okay. Alright. Let's... You're not guilty, but you're still in jail. That's what I'll say. Thousand bucks. Let's go. We... Cruising through this a little bit. Wow. I'm not going to jail. Or getting assassinated, but... Wow. Both of them are... Damn. Alright. How much are we gonna get paid here? 500 bucks or something? Yeah, 500 bucks. I was right. <laughs> Alright, daughter asked for a phone, paid 700 bucks. Now I have 400 left. And we end the day. We move. Salt Stanley John Morgan sued his tenant Daisy Taylor to evict her for not paying her rent on time. Defendant Daisy Taylor, plaintiff Sally John Morgan. Legal action has been taken against Daisy Taylor by Sally. Sally J. Morgan says that the tenant is in breach of the tenancy agreement. The host demands that the tenant vacate the property and pay the debts owed by the tenant with interest. Okay. My tenant has not paid me a single penny for three months. Even though I, I warn her many times, she keeps stalling. As if this were not enough, they constantly bring their friends to the house and make noise that disturbs the neighbors. I brought my neighbor who lives downstairs as a witness so that you can believe me on this matter. Charles Goodman. Whatever Mr. Morgan says is true. That's all he says. Whatever is true. It is true that I have not been able to pay the landlord for a while, but I had to quit my job and now I can't afford to pay right now. I told him that it was not an abrupt situation and that I would pay him when I received my unemployed benefit. However, he is trying to get me kicked out of the house somehow. It's a complete lie that we make too much noise with my friends. Since my downstairs neighbor is a tenant of Mr. Morgan, he obeys his orders. Well, what about the other tenants if there's others? What about them? But let's just hear what we gotta say. Mr. Morgan, is it true that Charles Goodman, your downstairs neighbor whom you called a witness, is your tenant? That's true, your honor, but I don't understand its relevance. Well, it under it, it's the point because, guess what? He's a fucking tenant in your fucking house. Mr. Goodman, is it true that your upstairs neighbor and her friends make so much noise that they disturb you? Sound? Noises. Oh yes, I remember. Normally costs. The voices are echoing in my ears. The smell of gunpowder and the sound of bullet casings. A C. A. A chew. So you just snood, huh? Could you please answer the question, Mr. Goodman? Whatever Mr. Morgan says is true. He's just too old to say anything at this rate, dude. Miss Taylor, you said in your statement that your landlord tried to get you evicted. Why do you think that is? He's trying to evict me and raise the rent. But he can't do this because we have a contract. No, I would ne never miss my rent, but this is getting this is getting a fired thing was unfortunate for me. They played into his hands. Man, that's a tough situation, but man. 
that assassin, that arrested is pretty damn high. So is the assassination. It's getting high up there. But we, um, his answer is not good. Like, I wish he would have said, oh, it's just loud. But I'm making my decision here. From my experiences, I do have tenants. I'm actually probably hearing this. But for me, it's better if you get other tenants, if you have others, to explain the whole thing. So for me, stays in the house until she finds a new house and her death is postponed. That's what I'm going to say. Not getting assassinated, but by my arrest chances. It's at six, but man, I am so lucky for not getting killed. Bill passed. Immigrants who commit crime will now be deported. So to those who are not here, they're getting deported, eh? Week six, case two. Okay, this guy, Connor McLean. Okay, so he's all that and he has a criminal record. Participating in street racing. Oh boy, we got street racing. Recently, tra traffic police came across the street while on patrol and followed suspicious vehicles. After a long chase, the person named Connor McLean had an accident with the vehicle he was driving. After his accident, he was taken to the hospital by the traffic police, and after his treatment, he was arrested and detained. Except for Connor McLean, no delivery del driver was caught by the police. First of all, I am not a street racer. I have no connection with other vehicles. I was just passing by in my sports car. All I did was increase my speed to get away from other vehicles as soon as possible. My only crime is that I was speeding. It has nothing to do with racing. Well, I can't speak for racers because I don't have a driver's license. I don't have a sports car either, but I definitely need to see that damn evidence. Evidence 224, speed measurements of the vehicle used by the person. 95, the license plate belonged to the vehicle located in the trunk of the vehicle. What's the speed limit? Can I ask what's the speed limit? So I'm going to just check here for a second here. Okay, so participating in street racing is just a five thousand dollar. He has a criminal record, but I don't, I don't know if I want to call him guilty. But let's just question him. Mr. McLean, you say in your statement that you are not a street racer. Why did you run away from the police? Tried to stop you, Your Honor. I thought the police stopped me because I was speeding. I ran away to avoid a traffic ticket. You have been street racing in the past and got caught. Do you have an exclamation about this, Your Honor? This time it's pure coincidence. I was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. That's all. And why was your license plate inside the trunk of the car? Because I took my license plate off to get my car painted and I forgot to put it back on. Yeah, man, I, I don't know, dude. Like, I have nothing to say. That like, this is the only evidence. I wish there was evidence of him speeding. What's, I don't know the speed limit either, so... I really don't have much choice here, um, but... Not guilty. Wow. More than 50. Huh. <laughs> wow, I'm kind of fucked. Wow, okay, I'm... I'm fine. I'm totally fine. Okay, so Adrian Bowen is age 42, no criminal record. He is mentally stable, but he is not here, so he is absolutely going to get supported if he's guilty here. Okay, so extortion. Helen Lona's mobile phone was stolen while she was walking on 25th Victoria Street. Camera footage of the place called Coffee Vic, located where the incident took place, was examined. In line with the investigations, it has been concluded that the person in the images is named Adrian Bowen. Adrian Bowen was detained by police for questioning while he was going to the market where he York, where he worked. I was walking on 23 Victoria Street, where I walk on a certain days of the week, but that day I decided to walk in the opposite direction to the direction I normally walk. While everything was going well, someone suddenly took the phone from my hand. I couldn't even react because of the surprise and fear I felt at that time. After I put myself together, I asked for help from those around me. In the evening, I closed the daily gross market where I work and walk in the opposite direction of my house. My wife, my wife and I were arguing, constantly arguing due to financial concerns, and my children did not have much peace of mind. Because of these events, I was very confused and had difficulty thinking clearly. Suddenly, I saw the woman walk in front of me and noticed that she was carrying a phone in her hand. The phone looked very luxurious and expensive. Because of the difficulties I was experiencing, this phone was seen like a very attractive opportunity to me. I thought that if I could sell it, I could at least evaluate the financial concerns a little. Without any plan, I reflectively grabbed the phone from the woman's hand and started running. Afterwards, I turned off the phone, put it in my pocket, and went home. Not looking good for you, brother. Okay. Okay, case here. We got here on my emails. Nothing, just Brooklyn Choice. Okay. Okay, well, there we go. Phone stolen. Not good for you, buddy. Have you known Helen Lona before? No, Your Honor, I did not know her before, but I occasionally saw her while walking. You admitted that you committed this crime for your own reasons. Do you regret committing that crime? I am absolutely sorry, Your Honor. I still cannot understand how I committed such a crime. I am very embarrassed towards my wife and, my, and our daughters. Please forgive me. Oh, man. I'm sorry, bro, but... What is this crime again? I just want to check this again. This was extortion, right? Yep, extortion. 
This would be stealing. And it's not this one. That's just trafficking. This would be stealing. Theft. Yeah, two years of jail, but he's not from here. So I have to... I have to deport you back to where you came from, buddy. Sorry, but... Get the fuck out of our country. I know that was harsh, but I gotta say, as a result of the decisions you made in the cases, we decided to raise your salary. This week, you will earn $1,200. Thank you for the good old money. Wow. I am so fucking lucky. I'm lucky, dude. I'm lucky as hell that I'm not I'm not in jail or any of that right now. I'll just cruise it through this, I guess. Okay, 700. Well, withdraw that, that shit. And we move. That's what I gotta say. Oh boy. Your wife wants a car. A weekly payment of $1,000 will be a total of 15 weeks of payment. Once accepted, the first installment is paid right away. Your sandwich will drop severely if you don't accept this. 100 bucks. Well, I might have to gamble very soon. But I'll see it once again off camera. Breaking news. Bomb attack on parliament. The Sicilian cartel carried out a bomb attack on the parliament building. 90 civilians lost their lives and two members of the parliament were injured. The leader of the cartel was caught. Well, this is my case, eh? After the attack, law of execution was accepted. Those who are on trial for terrorism and other severe crimes will be executed. Well, is this my case here? Because... What a way to start off week 7. Terrorism, well... Okay. Um... This is crime against the state, right? Yeah. Yeah, this is easily execution. This dude's done. Okay. Terrorism taking part in origin or organized crime activities. Recently, 90 civilians lost their lives and two MPs were seriously injured in a bomb attack on parliament. During this attack, four people thought to be members of the Sela Cardell blew themselves up. You okay? As a result of extensive researches, 10 people thought to be members of the Sela Cartel were caught. A few of the cartel members became confessors in the cases in which they were tried. They disclosed the identity of Juan Carlos, the manager of the cartel and the planner of the bomb attack. As a result of the operations, the person named Juan Carlos was caught in a forest house outside the city. Those responsible for the events are the corrupted state and their collaborators, the Mafia. They are the ones who forced us to do this. Jeremy and Mike, may they rest in peace now. Well, you're just executed, bro. Well, digital evidence? Okay. Alright, sound recordings? Alright. Yes sir, I'm listening to you, cartel member. Go and destroy that parliament! Sir, do you think this would be S? I'm not gonna say that word. Since when have my orders been questioned? Okay, sir, as you wish. Well, that's clear as guilty right there. Okay, well, alright. Questioning and then you're executed, bro. That's clearly clear you're, you're, you're just done. Do you regret having such a damaging event to our country? No, I'm just sorry that I couldn't give all the statements what they deserved. Okay. If you give us all information about the mafia mentioned in your statement, we can take care of them after you. Will you cooperate? No, I don't think so, but you should know that obvious that high-ranking statements are corrupt. Well, I think this case is pretty shut here. You're you're very guilty here, like it's pretty clear. Bye bye, buddy. Okay, I I think I did the right thing though. Wow, are you fucking with me, dude? There's no way you sent me to jail just for that. Nah, you're a dick. Nah, this <laughs> you're a dick, bro. You're a fucking dick. No 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 no, you're a dick for that, bro. I think this is just luck, bro. Come on. How is that not the right case right there? This dude is very guilty. And, like, come on. This is execution easily. Like, it's terrorism and the guy has already a crime. I think this is just luck based. If I get it again, then that sucks. See, that's just luck based, bro. He's clearly guilty. Alright. We. Hello, cat. New day for me. Henry William and Robin Hudson. Okay, compensation loss against Robin Hudson who caused Henry Will to have a traffic accident. This is gonna be tough for me because I don't know how to- I, I haven't drived yet, but I got my G1s, but I haven't drived yet. Henry William was allegedly pushed into the barriers by Robin Hudson while he was riding his motorcycle in traffic, causing him to have an accident. After the accident, Henry William remained in a coma for 42 days. Henry William demands $250,000 for Robin Hudson as a material and moral compensation for the pain he has experienced. I was driving my motorcycle in traffic. I wanted to overtake the vehicle in front of me. She started to approach me while I was overtaking her. I got stuck in the barrier and suddenly lost the balance of the, va of the motorcycle and rolled over. The only thing I remember afterwards was that I was in great pain. I think she did this on purpose because she didn't even stop and help after she caused this. The problem is the motorcycle. And I'm not, I don't know if cars can do this, but... 
All right. I was driving in my own lane in traffic. I was very obsessed because I found out that my mother was hospitalized and I was trying to get to the hospital as soon as possible. My mother has cancer and her condition is serious. I didn't notice what was happening during the accident. The motorcycle must have been in my blind spot. I later learned that I was being taken to court. If I had noticed the accident, I would definitely have stopped and helped. I did not violate any traffic rules. I don't think it's my fault. I've seen um, motorcycles before. I'm not sure they can listen, but there's not much evidence. Well, there is recording. That's that. But I'm not sure if cars can do that. It can really listen to motorcycles. I don't fucking know. But um, let's just question. Mr. Williams, you realize that you were violating the lane in the car in front of you, right? Your Honor, I even hot my horn before she overtook. There's no way she didn't see me. What upsets me is that she could have killed me, but she chose to flee at the time of the incident. Mrs. Hassan, is it unlikely that you did not notice the motorcycles in your left rear view at the time of the incident? Didn't you at least hear a sound? Your Honor, at the moment, I was totally thinking about my mother. I was in the left lane, so I didn't need to look in the left mirror, and I didn't hear the sounds because the windows were closed. Wow, okay. Um, I feel like Henry Williams did violate, so... um, No. You ain't getting shit from her. Because, um, I think you violated the, the thing. If I get arrested here, bro... Thank you. Thank God I'm not getting arrested for that. Because that, that, that's that's annoying. Involuntary manslaughter. Gavin Tat Jr., the person named took his baby, the person named took his baby, who was having difficulty breathing, to the hospital. After the MRI, it was seen that there was metal, metal object in the baby's stomach. Nathan Lake, the baby's doctor, said that the object should be removed surgically. The surgery was performed with the family's approval, and Nathan Lake stated to the family that the surgery went well. The baby experienced breathing difficulties sometime after he was discharged and died less than 24 hours. As a result of the autopsy, a gauze that was forgotten during the surgery was found in the baby's stomach. An autopsy report confirmed that the baby died as a result of a forgotten gauze. Therefore, the baby's father, Gavin Tat Jr., filed a complaint against Dr. Nathan Lake. He has no criminal record, obviously, so he's obviously not going to get sentenced for longer. We realized that our baby was having difficulty breathing and we went to the hospital. Nathan Lake, who was a doctor there, told us that an MRI was needed. After the MRI result, the doctor said that our baby had a metal object in his stomach and needed to be operated on immediately. After the surgery, he said that it was a very successful surgery. When we came home shortly after our baby was discharged, we realized that our baby could not breathe again. We tried to take him to the hospital again, but it was too late when we got there. I asked for an autopsy report because I was curious about the cause of the death. I learned that the cause of death was the gauze left in our baby's stomach during the surgery and I filed a complaint. First of all, I accept my mistake and I'm very sorry that this incident happened. When I learned that the baby died as a result of my carelessness, I could not come to my senses for a long time. I don't care about the punishments I will receive. My only wish is for his family to forgive me. I am distraught. Well, you are pretty guilty. Um, That is the evidence there, the gauze. This would be a different crime, obviously. No evidence here. So inv involuntary manslaughter would be four years. If that's right for this crime here, then I'm gonna check back. Hello? Yeah, okay, that's four years. First of all, I see that you have taken responsibility for the mistake. Could you briefly explain the situation? Before the surgery, I had an argument with my wife. We are in the process of divorcing. I thought I mustn't do the surgery, but there was no other doctor in the hospital. I found out that only I could do the surgery. It went well, but I didn't realize that I left the gauze in the baby's stomach. I desperately hope that the family will forgive me. Well, um, I'm sorry, man, but a crime is a crime, and you did commit it, so... But you don't have a criminal record, so I'm not sending you for two extra years. Be lucky for that. And you said you will accept the punishment, so I'm sorry. I gotta send you to that long. 1400 Hey, we're getting paid a lot here today. Let's go. Not getting assassinated. And I'm not getting arrested, too. Thank fucking God. You pay the negative fleas with it from your wallet. Thank fucking God. Wow, I don't got money here, dude. Damn. Fucking shit here, dude. I feel like I'm gonna get credit options here. I'm gonna get a few here. Um let's get um four let's get four thousand in compensation here. What? Oh. Yeah. Okay, payment of this loan will take four weeks. Weekly payments, twelve hundred. Total payback, forty yes, I will approve. Yes, let's just take it. All right. We can now withdraw the money. So, yeah, we taken it because uh, we need money. What do you want? Your wife calls his at their household. It lost and breaks down. She wants a thousand for the new household. Yeah, I'll take it. I'm actually going to end it off here, bro. That is that was a very long time. Uh, obviously, restarting it took a, 
obviously um, played a role in taking this long, but yeah, I'm ending off here, man. I definitely fucked up in, uh, in some of the cases today, maybe a lot of them, but this is how I, this is how Test View judged today, but yeah, man, um, I'm done though.